So as you can tell already, today we are doing something really different. I'm gonna be taking you behind the scenes for a wedding that we are getting ready for. So today is Wednesday, and most of the times, our prep for weddings start on either Tuesday or Wednesday. So Wednesdays for us is when all of our flowers come in and we process the flowers, which really means taking them out of the packaging that they come in, stripping all the extra leaves in them, giving them a good, nice, fresh cut, and then getting them in some water and just letting them drink up for about 24 hours before we start designing with them. So I'm here at my studio and I'm just gonna take you a little bit behind the scenes. I hope you guys enjoy this. If you do, make sure that you hit the like and subscribe button so that I know to make more videos. So guys, like I said, Wednesday for us is floral day. This is when all of our beautiful flowers come in. So I'm gonna do a little bit of unboxing with you and show you what we have ordered for this wedding. So I get my flowers from a local wholesaler called McCollum Wholesale. I will link them down in the description box. But I've also ordered flowers online from 50flowers.com and they have beautiful flowers. So I will also link all the flowers I'm using down in the description box so that you can see them in case you wanna use them for an upcoming event. Our color palette for this wedding is pinks and purples. So we have some beautiful orchids here. These are specialty orchids. I believe that they're called Mokoria orchids. And you're going to see the design that we do. I'm going to unbox the second bigger box. And I think I already know what this is, but let's see if I'm right. I think these are our hydrangea. Um, so let me see. And yes, so we have here some jumbo hydrangea beautiful white hydrangea so i know that i just told you that the color palette is pink and purple and you're like why do you have white hydrangea we're actually going to be spray painting this so this is a nice trick for you to know is you can always order white hydrangea and then just spray paint it in any color that you want and i do this because colored hydrangea can be twice as much sometimes even more expensive than the white hydrangea also with everything going on with COVID, sometimes it's really difficult to source the colored hydrangea. So we have two boxes of fresh jumbo hydrangea. Look how big and beautiful these heads are that we're going to be working with. And then as far as the spray paint, we have a couple colors that we're gonna be working with. I love Design Master spray paint. So I have a fuchsia spray paint. I also have a violet spray paint. I also have a purple spray paint. And then the last spray paint we have is a raspberry. So I have a lot of options when it comes to spray paint and this is going to let us have really custom colors, colors that may not even be able to be found in nature. So this is going to be really gorgeous and I can't wait to show you how everything ties in together. Now we have all of our roses. This rose is one of my favorite purple roses. It's called Moody Blues. And I love it because it has a little bit of pink on the inside. It has a little hint of fuchsia. So it's great when you are designing something that crosses both of those color palettes. So we're going to be using a whole lot of moody blues. It's a gorgeous rose. And so with your roses, you know, you want to make sure you get them in early enough so that they can open up all the way. As you can see, these roses are still fairly closed up. This is not, you know, your fully blown out rose. But when you get them a couple days in advance, you give them some water. We're going to be so surprised by how much bigger these heads are by Saturday. Because the bigger your heads are, the more space they fill up and the less flowers you have to use. So definitely make sure you're getting your flowers in Wednesday or Thursday. Thursday probably at the latest so that you can give them time Time to truly open up and be in full bloom for your event. We also have some other pink roses. This is a beautiful pink rose. This is called Myra. This is the soft pink Myra. This is the medium pink Myra. So both very beautiful roses. They complement each other, but obviously different shades of the same rose. The final flower that we have that is different are some spray roses. So when I'm designing, I love playing with proportions. I love to have some flowers that are bigger, some that are smaller. It just makes your design much more interesting. So these are our spray roses. So you'll see when we bring the spray roses together with both the Myra, they complement each other, but they're not, you know, the exact same shade. And the difference in the sizes makes the design really interesting. So this is what everything looks like once we've unpackaged everything and we have all of our flowers in buckets. 
We're just going to stick this into their cooler for now and then come back on Friday to design all of our centerpieces. Unfortunately, I had a meeting while my team was designing the centerpieces, so I don't have footage of the design. If I get a lot of really good feedback on this video, I'll make another video for another event and show you a little bit more of the design process. But for now, we are done with Wednesday. Hi guys, so it is wedding day here at the Floral Guru. And as you can see, I am standing in our cooler with all of our beautiful flowers ready. These flowers have stayed fresh because they are in the cooler. You can see we have some extra stems, we also have our pre-made arrangements that are going to be so gorgeous. It's going to be a really beautiful wedding, so I'm really looking forward to it. <laughs> 